Hello, everyone. Uh, we are here again with Matthias uh, together uh, a Song Earth uh, community and uh, Song of the New Earth community. And so um, today we will um, share a little bit uh, a story we have both experienced uh, with cryptocurrency. I feel this is something that um, everybody, um, it's time to hear what's taking place and um, and at the same time um, yes uh, share also what is our perspective about cryptocurrency so i will uh, uh, just invite matthias to speak about this first and then i will also share my experience on the way so matthias please tell us your story yes thank you for having me again Nikos. um it's um was an uh, opportunity for us to to find uh, a solution when the banks didn't want to give us a mortgage. So what we did is um, we tried uh, with 17 banks to find a mortgage for um, a community project that we had um, bought. It was a very nice terrain from um, from a man who lived there with his wife, but this man became old and he wanted to sell this place. So we did uh, uh, a payment in front for this train, and um, there was some point that, uh, uh, yeah, we didn't find another solution than to invest in cryptocurrency. And this cryptocurrency we found uh, from um, Facebook announces from Mark Zuckerberg, who is very good in making a lot of announcements about this uh, cryptocurrency. But later on, we discovered that all these announcements were actually, um, yeah, based on selling people's da data for putting you in kind of system that um, yeah that can also go very very wrong and this is what we discovered with um, with cryptocurrency they they give you official contracts of course because you don't want to give your money to to just somebody that you don't know but actually we didn't really know these people um, they were just official companies. We looked this up on the internet, and it was seem it seems all to be legal. So you can fact check this with uh, companies um, on the net, like um, I don't know the exact name, but it's something like F F F A M F S M A or something. I don't know exact words, but uh, this is a company that. Uh, Checks, checks if the brokers are real or not. And in the beginning, they are all real, but after time, uh, these brokers, um, they have brought you a lot of income and you, you try to re withdraw it, but then it's not possible anymore. You cannot withdraw it. They block your account for a certain period, then they, they phone you and they say, why you do the withdraw now? It's not a good moment, things like that. So you can really feel that it is um, a real platform where people can make a lot of money, but also where you have to give a lot of trust to them. So that's what we, we are. We are people who give a lot of trust to people because we know when somebody wants to help us, we feel happy. And the time that we were having this uh, uh, period with the brokers, it was really amazing because uh, we could really feel the, the warm heart that they, that they had. And with our warm heart, it was just multiplying. Actually, in a little bit more than a year, we were going from 159,000 to, to 1.4 million euros. So we had enough for our, our to buy the terrain. But then, um, this uh, time, what the company did, it just disappeared from from uh, the net when we start uh, contacting police and we start doing more investigation because something was wrong. 
and we found out that uh, these companies were legal and that our, our justice system, uh, because we took a lawyer, and our justice system, they was yeah, waiting two years for to give us an answer. So what we discovered is that our police business, which which is uh, like in the in the judge in the judge system, it's like on the base of the of the triangle. You have a police court, which is the lowest court. Then you have a first degree court. Then you have a, like professional court, and then you have like uh, a season, like highest court. But so we discovered that it was. Um, very, very uh, easy for this police to find out where these brokers were, but that they didn't get the um, the act, the yeah, let's say the authority stopped them, and they say no, you cannot do nothing until we find out what happened, and and um, when I was going to the to court. They told me um, that um, that they didn't find nothing. It was like fictive companies, and um, that uh, they also didn't want to charge uh, like the Facebook owner Mark Zuckerberg because for them it was too expensive to to go to America, and it would it would have cost too much money. So actually, I felt like we we invest in a system. Where the, the 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 crypto owners they already know that um, the the judges system belongs to them, so they just um, try to take away the money of honest people, and from the moment that they have all their money, they feel like now we cannot take anything anymore. They just uh, like uh, close their platforms and with with crypto because it's official companies but with the cryptocurrency they can easily put like one million and they put it on a, on a certain kind of uh, crypto that they just invented and then they know we can just move this to another company so with the blockchain technology it's very difficult to trace uh, the fastest computers of, of the world they will be able to trace this um, Thing, but um, also these fast computers belong to, to this group of people. So all these people that is into that game, I feel that those people who trick other people, they don't really earn so much money because we had these conversations with them and um, most of them, they don't have a house themselves. They're just uh, working for a big company and maybe they have like between one and six percent of profit from what the profit that they made uh, with us. So the thing is, what I feel in in this world that when you put your money in that, there is never a win-win situation. Somebody loses. So this is what we discovered, and uh, where it's also was for us an, an um, opportunity to learn something from it. Because in this world, we sometimes think that we can lose something, but what we lose is just the, yeah, the, the material. And just money is a, is a divine energy when it's used in a, in, a, in a very good way, but when it's used in a bad way, it's a, it's a terrible energy. It destroys lives, it it's causes poverty, it kills people. It's very um, easy, and and we we know where these people live, so so we can we can fight them if we want. We can make this war, and maybe we can even win the, win this war. Maybe we can even like put their houses, eh, you know, in in um, yeah. We make a big chaos, but there comes the point that we're gonna like go with the, their flow like um, abusing this system and becoming the same evil entities or we're going to forgive ourselves that that we we've we've been um, giving trust to them
Absolutely. Like that. So somehow you got, you got frozen somehow. Somehow you got frozen for a while. No, it's okay. Yes, yes. Uh, what, what you speak of, um, it's exactly what I want to say that uh, basically your intentions were uh, of the light because your intentions were pure. You wanted just to get this money, of course, to become autonomous because that's a human nature. We want to become autonomous and also create the community, which is also about autonomous community. This is our dream. And that's how this is what the intention behind all this. That's the intention also. Me, myself, I had also been involved in cryptocurrency some time ago. It was called the Space Coin in Germany. I invested only a small amount of money, like 300 euros, but I lost it all. And it was the same like you speak. It was about putting more and more inside and calling people to put more and more inside. And then, OK, I say I'm going to try this, but then nothing happened, you know. But you, I know that you have you through your contacts also. There is much more that was in game that you lost from that from that whole story. And uh, and what I put the accent is that your intentions were good. So that's what you say that those people they take advantage of the pure intentions we have. There are many good people out there that they want to benefit the the whole the whole planet. It's not just for ourselves. It's for everybody, and they have done it. While at the same time, I want to share with you that I know of one person from Belgium. I'm going to, I'm not going to say his name. He is still promoting Bitcoin. He still speaks, speaks very highly about it. And it seems that he bought a house lately. So I don't know exactly his story, whatever happened with this man. And uh, maybe someday, maybe you should invite him as well and have a conversation with him because he still promotes, he still believes higher of uh, Bitcoin. And I know also some other people speaking about Bitcoin. So for me, it is who is right, who is wrong, and who did the right thing, who did not the right thing, and why it's somebody who has good intentions like yourself that I know did not succeed to that, and why somebody else that is more I'm not going to judge anybody, but I can feel already that's who is about community, who is not. So, so uh, why somebody who is more about the self is making this happen somehow? So it's a question I'm throwing out to the universe. And yeah, that is what yes. I want to share. For this. Yes, it's true. Um, like in every um, companies, there are uh, good people and in every society, um, like we have these both entities, like like evil and very beautiful, and this is working together. And we need these both the both energies, of course, to to realize that um, we have to work with these kind of things. Uh, I know in America, in Silicon Valley, the the most successful people they they've been fallen so many times, and uh, they get used to it. Well, somebody tricked me. Okay. Well, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to continue. A good example is Elon Musk from um, from SpaceX and um, Neuralink, and uh, uh, he makes now robots and he makes also uh, electric cars. He was bankrupt many times, and and I mean almost bankrupt, and something. Um, magical always appeared in his life because he, he didn't give up, he, he continued believing in his dreams. Um, I feel like uh, it's the same with, um, with this process. I feel in a way when we have um, given trust to people and those people have not um, um, I mean, they run away from their from 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 their honesty, and they just start uh, doing um, yeah bad things. Then these people they take a, a bunch of karma in, into their uh, energy, and probably they will have nightmares. Probably they will have uh, a lot of um, emotional things that's going on because for me, when I look into the mirror, I can really see like. 
I forgive myself. And after forgiving myself, I can feel that the divine self inside of me really resonates and I feel goosebumps over how my body, like, it cleans me instantly. And there is, there is uh, nothing that attached me of material worlds. And for that, I really feel like the, the way, why we want to, to build these uh, communities in the first place and why we need uh, um, also money for that is because money is still av available in this world. When it would not be available anymore, we, do, we wouldn't need it anymore. And this time we will also come. Very soon, uh, maybe a few generations from now, they will not talk about uh, our problems anymore because uh, more intelligent systems will very easily uh, see when people are uh, um, try to trick you or try to. Eventually, we all want to want to grow in this world. Even people who doesn't want to grow, they want to grow because growing means feeling better, feeling lighter, feeling more uh, more beautiful. And what I discovered through this whole process uh, of of growing is the process to let go what we cannot change. So, of course, we want to fight for our rights. This is something we need to do. But if a, if a judge say, like, no, we're not going to give you rights. Uh, we know that you're honest, but uh, you, you cannot trust us. You know, you have to learn that. You cannot trust the justice system. And as long as you you, you want to be uh, a proof that you are honest, you will fail in our system because we are not here to, 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 vent, to defend you. We are just here to trick you. And you didn't, you didn't uh, learn your lesson. So mm -hmm. basically what I did is, okay, you want to have my properties because we, we not only lost uh, money on the cryptocurrency, we also lost the money that we give to the landlord. And on top of that, maybe we're going to lose more uh, because they claimed a 221,000 euros extra claim for, for not removing things, things that we, we cannot even remove, like, uh, like uh, solar panels that were connected on this uh, land and like uh, concrete uh, things that were put into the ground that we, we bought, but we cannot do nothing. It was like um, like payment that we did on front, but they say, no, it has nothing to do with that. So they, they, they have now a claim that they can just take away my, my, my home. So, and that was the moment where, when I realized, like, like I called this um, guy I don't know the English word for a person that uh, needs to follow orders from the court, but this, these people, they come in, into your house and they say like, I have a, a warrant and this warrant say like, we can take your house and we can sell your house and with this money we can, we can pay the, 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 the thieves, you know. But they're not saying like thieves, they say this is just an order. And, and I talk to them and I say, well, when you know our story, and you're continuing with that process, you're doing something very bad, and somebody needs to say stop. And this man told me, well, I could do that. I could be the first uh, one who opened my heart, you know, and, and know that, yeah, you're an honest man, and, and the government tricked you, but then somebody else will, will do my work, and I will not have work anymore. And I say, well, if your work is like that, then you're just a part of a criminal organization and one day you will pay the, the damage for that because you feel it is wrong. Do you have the names of, of this person? What? Do you have the name of this person? Of course, I have the name, yes. And, and, so so and all of them, I'm saying this now, right now to you, all of them through I am presence, each one of them will pay for that. There is not one of them that will escape that. I'm telling this officially now out there. Each one of them will pay for what they are doing because they know it's not right. They are supporting a system that is corrupt, corrupt governments. We don't support corrupt governments, we support our autonomy. 
our freedom as one planet from one another for the people, for we the people. And that's where we go. And any, anybody who's trying to block this way cannot stop it anymore. So now, in this moment now, anybody who's trying to stop it is finished. It's eradicated the planet. We don't need to focus on this anymore, but they will get our, their lessons and we will move forward with our communities and we'll create them because abundance and prosperity is coming for everybody on the planet. The new financial system is going to bring everything on the planet. No more going on the past. And in this moment now, things are changing and much more will change. And all these people, all these traitors, they will come to the surface and everybody will see them for who they are, for the faces they have. All of them. That's yes. What I have to say. yes, that is that is what I also uh, feel that um, there comes a turning point in uh, in the awakening process. What I feel is uh, the the great awakening, and it's the opposite of the great reset. And I feel the difference between the great awakening and the great reset is that uh, the great reset is just some thieves stealing a divine plan of the Great Awakening and and they try to manipulate it for their own benefits. But exactly. that means but that means uh, um, they they use the old three dimensional system where they they are, are not feeling the connection with divine because when we feel connection with the divine the energy is just flowing into our crown chakra and just filling up our whole body and it goes to our to our first chakra to the Mother Earth that is always there to also to give to us. And when we are in connection with that, we really feel that there is an, an, um, an available energy for, for all of us when we open up to that. Those who are in the, in the great reset energy, like first we need to break down the world and then we can build it up again, they uh, don't understand that their plan always is destroying the the nectar of this 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 beautiful life. And what is this nectar? This is the nectar is the the connection um, that we can have with these divine energies. Imagine a bee without a flower. How can it suck the 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 honey out of the flower when there is no flower? It's impossible. So, so it's 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 the same with uh, with these uh, people who believe in the in, in in the great reset, and there will be a lot of flowers for the people who believe in the great awakening. That means, like our natural ability to um, to heal everything what is wrong inside and to forgive ourselves and to accept that things are happening just the way it should be. So when we stop this cycle of, of um, yeah, I have to do something because my boss is telling me to vaccinate you, for example. And if I don't vaccinate you, then, yeah, I lose my job. It's an example. These kind of things uh, are, um, yeah, examples of how society now is uh, accepting bullshit jobs because every job that is doing things that are against human nature, these are bullshit jobs. They, 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 those jobs are, are not gonna heal our traumatic pains inside. They're not gonna give us the, the energy to to, to go on when we feel uh, bad. Can you imagine, for example, somebody who, who builds up the whole life based on, on, on tricking people, based on being a thief? When something happens to them, they probably kill themselves, like, like uh, or if they don't kill themselves, they will probably kill others to, to take, take back what, what they think belongs to them. And I feel that when we stop this cycle, we have the opportunity to allow these beautiful dreams again, to these beautiful dreams that we have and that we want to see being born in this 
yeah, beautiful paradise that we call Earth. Absolutely. What you say is about forgiveness to self, forgiveness to all others, even to those that we believe they harmed us in any way. They have no no power to harm anybody. It's just an illusion. It's just people playing the actor roles. And at some point, these actor roles finish. And today, you are in this time, what these actor roles they finish for everybody. So, for example, if somebody did something that they were really in dark, dark, dark spots, they still have the opportunity to come out and say, hey, I choose now for the light and I choose to admit that I did that. All they have to do is come to the light and say that. It's so easy to do that. Of course, they will have karmic debt to pay and to go through that. But at the same time, I, this is a call I'm giving to all those people who have been involved with the Song of the Earth community and to all of those who have been involved with cryptocurrency, if you ever hear this story, you still have time to come to the light and speak about this and say, OK, I admit I made mistake and you still can. Receive forgiveness from on high because uh, because it's all about you and and what's happening up there or inside because up there it's within. I speak up, but I speak within basically. <laughs> so so by asking forgiveness, to, to, to the God within, then of course uh, uh, you can uh, move forward with us. Uh, everybody's welcome to the New Earth reality. You just have to take action and not wait uh, b before you get discovered because that's not going to be a beautiful story. I'm telling you, that's going to be very ugly for all of you that you're going to be that going to be caught. And uh, now they send convoys in Canada and there is uh, this prime minister in Canada that is I think uh, they scared away. They say he has COVID for uh, five, six days, but actually it's all the trackers coming together peacefully, right? Nobody wants to harm anybody. We come together peacefully and we want to achieve the highest good for the planet. So this is happening also in Brussels. So what's going to happen? Where are you going to hide? You cannot hide anymore. There's no place to hide on the planet. So yes. so better, better come to the light and speak the truth and say, OK, I admit I, I did this wrong. I'm sorry. All you have to do is say that and the rest will be arranged. From divine, right? Yes, I feel exactly the same. I was uh, that day in uh, in Brussels and, and it really touched my heart. So many people like uh, you could really feel like everybody was like on ecstasy. <laughs> it was such a high lovely wave of love and light that we could feel from all these people coming together in peace, a very colorful um, movement. I, I think there was much more than 50,000 uh, people. I, uh, the, the people from the stage said between uh, uh, two, three hundred thousand people. And um, I believe also that the streets were loaded full of, of, of people. but. Well, let's say um, um, like this, what we see in the media is similar to what we see uh, in, in, the, yeah, in our lives. We see something and the question is, can we trust on our gut feeling when we look to television that, yeah, Something is wrong there. We don't know what it is, but we still try to believe as human beings. No, what's on the, what's on the television is, is the truth. Well, what I've seen there, comparing what they showed on the television, it was such a difference. Like they they try to make believe that uh, that um, that the, the anti-vaxxers or the people who don't want to have QR code for the people who who just want to, to heal themselves in a natural way, that, that, that those people are like terrorists and they show pictures of uh, uh, Antifa warriors that the organization from uh, One Million United in Brussels, so it's a, it's, it's a very nice organization, they really informed those people, like, please don't come if you want to make a war zone. Because we don't, we, we just come in peace. We just, we just uh, come there for democracy to share what we want to share. And for that, we, we are there. We just want to be free, you know. 
Yeah. I could really feel from miles away because we, 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 we arrived a little bit later, but how much people there was enjoying this beautiful atmosphere. And when we were there, we saw people like Matthias de Smets. He's a very well-known um, psychologue now in, in, in Belgium, who is talking about uh, the, the massa of uh, minds of the people or the massa forming, I don't know the, the correct word, and that's such a high educated doctor as he is or a professor. But what I really feel inside that people who are there in a natural way, they are the change that we want to see in the world. They are not coming there to offend police officers. No, they are coming there completely in peace. Even what they do, like myself, I was also there in peace. I saw uh, a guy, little man, 11 years old, I guess, um, putting his energy to a bicycle and he pushed the bicycle on the ground. So we saw that and we take this bicycle, electric motorcycle, and we put it back. Then we, we saw him running to, to waste cans and he took the waste cans and he barricaded the streets so the, the trucks could not pass anymore. Uh, more from the police with, uh, with the water guns. And he put one of these uh, bins on fire. But then what we saw, we saw this police uh, coming uh, and he was just driving right, right through it, like, like in a movie, you know, like, whoa, what is this? Just this police is standing there doing nothing. And then this, this police is coming just seconds after this little guy putting all these trash cans on the street putting one in fire, they don't put out the fire, they just drive to the other two uh, uh, bins. And it was like, yeah, like a cowboy movie, you know, <laughs> where, yes. there, where there was made a scene. And then in the same moment, when all this thing happened, one guy just collapsed. He just like, bang, he fell on the street, was bleeding out of his mouth. Some people just make a very nice big circle around him to protect him. Some people were screaming like, like, hell that I have to say, really relax, relax, your screaming is not helping at all. I just gonna call um, like an ambulance and the ambulance was really quick there. I called them and in four minutes they were there. And then I saw this little guy again and I took him with me and I said, please don't do that again. And I could feel the innocence in that child. Was he manipulated by, by somebody? Probably, probably. Afterwards I saw him in a movie on, on, on social media, the same little man, again with the Antifa and again with the police, walking together. And the same guy? The same guy? This the same little guy. He had an orange chair and he just okay. threw this chair again. So so when I same see... Actor. All same of, actor. When I see all of this and I hear it also from people that... Um, that uh, yeah... Of course, what I what I saw myself that police didn't do nothing. They could easily cut all these Antifa people because there were not so many. Maybe there were 50, and there were like maybe 500 police officers. So I felt like uh, like this is very strange. Also, what I recognized the media people they had um, they had face masks, they had uh, eye masks. They knew what was going to happen. I also knew what was going to happen. I knew they wanted to, to throw tear gas. But then there were a lot of people who didn't have these masks. And you saw one moment so many tear bombs, gas bombs, throwing at the police. But they didn't do like this. No, nothing was happening on the movies. So probably it was just smoke bombs. So I feel we are literally witnessing a Hollywood movie scene in, in reality. Yeah, and cool. for me, what I discovered within myself is when I am part of that uh, civilization that can make the choice, do I want to agree with what's happening here? Or do I'm going to say, no, this is enough for me. 
you can fool me once, you can fool me twice, but there comes a moment that I see the fooling. <laughs> exactly. And yeah. for all of us, when this moment comes that we see that we are doing or have to do things that, that is making this world a very miserable and terrible place by damaging other people's life, witnessing what's really happening in court and that we're going to put that in, 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 uh, in our lives as, as the true. We, we're not going to survive as, as, as human beings. So we have to change this. We have to, we, we have to um, uh, forgive ourselves that we've been cheating people. We have to forgive ourselves that we have been murdering people. We have to forgive ourselves that we have been thieves and, 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 and all these dark entities. And then allow ourselves to grow, to understand what it means to forgive others and to forgive yourself. The thing is, you know, that we're speaking always now of timelines. So, for example, we speak of 3D timeline, 4D timeline, 5D timeline and beyond. So every time we speak about dimensions, the, the narrative is changing. Why? Because somebody who has understood already, they are one and connected with the source of all creation, the source of all creation, and that we are source energy beings. It changes completely the way, the way we see the world around us. We become more observing mode, and then we can see through the lies and through all that is taking place. And someone who did not do that, that work, then it's also the mentality of me against them. So what chooses one to have to do, for example, for me, all the protests, it's doing its work to activate everything, and yet at the same time, it's showing resistance because people did not yet un really fully understand the power of the connection of the God within. Because when this happens and more people come to this love within, nothing can resist to this vibration. And that's where we are going. That's the future of humanity. It's like the, energy, the vibration of the planet rises, more people rising in the energy within themselves. They know the connection with the divine. And that vibration is changing. The changes and it takes away all that is negative and it no more have to experience. But that is the story of humanity going from very low for thousands of years and reaching that state now today to discover a power from within of source energy beings, one with God on with all creation, and then from there create the new. So so this is what this is our story, and this is what I feel the next 10 years of transition happening will happen. We are now witnessing all this dismantling of the old. Everything you share is the dismantling of the old, the old experience. And now we are moving slowly forward, everybody in their own choices and what they wish to focus upon to create the new. So we have two different Reality should live at the same time, 3D and 5D. One can is always free to choose any given time where they want to focus upon. Yes, this is what I feel. I was um, on a trip to Ukraine a few, few days ago, like 10 days ago, something like that. And um, I, uh, I found this little thing there. It's, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Beautiful. This is a uh, Mount Harp, and it's uh, it resonated with me. The moment I touched it, uh, I felt like, oh my God, what is this? Is this something new? Something really divine? And Please I know play. I'm gonna dance to the music right now. I'm gonna transmit. You play music, and I dance a little bit. You know, transmit okay. all the old. That's yeah. how we do it over here. <laughs> so, so yes, let's do that because uh, I, I I want to share this also with the world, like. Let's do it from 
how we do it we change the frequency instantly and move forward and transmute everything so when i'm doing this dance i visualize all colors violet color all around the planet and the energy is amazing so i feel instantly uplifted so i hope that everybody who is also watching this video participate in this little session it's beautiful thank you very much matthias very nice Yes, yes, and I, I, I want to share uh, something more like uh, um, when we focus again on, on what's, what we really love to do in life, then um, we sometimes really have to listen to this beautiful thing inside of us, it's uh, our heart. And some knowledge that I want to give away is um, this moment when our heart tells us like don't go that direction it looks very beautiful uh, very nice beautiful heart uh, that you see in something you know you, you see some beauty but actually your heart say like hmm i receive a small signal that maybe i should not follow but then the mind comes in and say but imagine if i would have and it can be a beautiful man beautiful woman beautiful house beautiful uh car but you know if i'm gonna go there maybe something is gonna go wrong your heart our heart is telling this thing and i felt like you know, listen to, listen to these little whisperings very carefully to 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 yeah to not uh, make the same mistakes I made, to trust people that actually were not worthy to, yeah, to trust them. I have a totally new way of uh, working from now on in my life and since not long time ago. So I, I use this mantra now that I always say, speak in my mind because, you know, I know many of people around that we had our differences and many big differences and they were like small and bigger fights not aggressive ones but we have a differences and so now when i go outside among people i always say to myself my presence inspires kindness to others so i know that my presence by being there makes other people kind kind around me everybody so by, 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 by visualizing this, this little phrase in my mind, I create a people or energy of people around me, they're always kind to me. It works. Yes. It's very, 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 very magic in these times we live on now. And that's fifth dimensional thinking, you know. So I'm using it a lot and I see right away the results. Like people that I didn't, speak of before and everything they suddenly become very kind so i'm like wow we have that power you know yes, and yes. Can use that. i really i also believe this uh, is, is uh, true and uh, it works and it's, it's also a tool that sometimes i use yes and it's yes yeah, music, music is perfect the per music is even even uh, all the animals dancing with us and everybody is participating it's like the kid children are loving it it's all great. This is a great tool to raise frequency and to get into the energies. And that's part of our community, right? The music. Yes, yes. I have another, another gift for you if you want. This is a guitar. Yes, please. And please. <laughs> if you want, I can play a little bit music for you. 
and for the people to go within. And my intention with this music is to to connect with your divine self and to yes. Yeah, to really to allow our dreams come true. So to be the open door for the divine to flow through us, just the same way that you play music and the divine flows through you. The invitation is for everybody to be the open door so the divine flows all around the planet. So the energy goes where it needs, where it's peace, prosperity, abundance, well-being for each and everyone on the planet. <laughs>
presence tangibly manifesting on earth and so it is beautiful thank you so we wrap it up anything else you want to add matthias i feel like uh, um, i'm very happy that i can stay peaceful within with everything that is happening a friend of me, a good friend of me, and uh, yeah, some other friends, they invited me to come and talk about what happened with the brokers, but they also, they also invested money into it. And something that uh, he shared with me, and she shared with me, was like that they admire the courage I had for but to take all this pressure and to hold the space and to to still smiling and to still being happy for whatever happened. And I'm so happy that I, I discovered this because so many people in this world are suffering, so many people in this world having no food, no shelter, no parents, um, a lot of difficulties in life. And the things that we experience in life is nothing compared to what other people experience. And, and, and then again, it's completely the same. And I feel we have the choice, no matter where we come from, we are extremely um, yeah, uh, happy or we are extremely sad and yeah. We have the choice to to do something about our lives and to make this life really beautiful and to choose for love because we all need love, all of us. And absolutely, I'm so happy that now I I I am dancing and playing music with the most beautiful people in this world. And I wish everybody to to step away from the madness in society and to allow the magic that is waiting for you to come out and waiting for you to express. And therefore, I'm, I'm also happy that I sometimes I can share this magic, even when when there's a lot of restrictions. Sometimes we do this like hidden parties, you know, and we continue or we do these hidden, hidden yoga sessions. We give ourselves like the blessings we we deserve in our life. And life go, goes on, no matter what the rules are, if they are against our nature, we just say no. And we continue with a smile and happy mode. Yes. And so it is. And so <laughs> it is, Matthias. Very well said. So it is. Namaste. Thank you, Nikos. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. And we're gonna do this this interaction again at some point soon. So thank you for being here with us. Yes, and for the people who see this uh, uh, and it's touch your hearts, please share. Please share with everyone you want to share. Like this, yes. we also can spread good vibrations and <coughs> give love to 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 this world and especially to those who need it. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. People need to know about all that took place, so they don't commit the same mistakes and and also learn about their own vibration, their own frequency within, and do the work. And it's all about doing the work again, going within every day, 20 minutes. 15 20 minutes meditation, it's a very, very good way to get there. I always say it, I keep on insisting, and it's one of the most easy ways to get there. First thing in the morning, or if you're going to be in gratitude the whole day, it's also working, even more powerful. 
Namaste. Namaste, Nikos. <laughs> we are just one hour. <laughs> yes, almost one hour, and I'm gonna. St I'm stopping it now here. Yes. Uh, Have a wonderful day. You too, my brother. You too. You too.